Cow Killer Ant vs. A Cow Can an insect really kill a cow? The name Cow Killer Ant comes from the extreme pain caused by the sting of the female red velvet ant, which is so intense that it was said to be powerful enough to kill a cow. Despite the name, they are not true ants. This insect is actually a wasp. They get the velvet part of their name from the fuzziness of the females, which are wingless and often brightly colored, appearing like a red and black ant. The females can deliver their infamous sting, while the males have wings but do not sting. Their bright red and black coloration serves as a warning to predators that they are not to be messed with. Something interesting is that cow killer ants can make a squeaking sound by rubbing parts of their body together, which is known as stridulation. It can sound kind of like a mouse or some say a cricket. This sound is another way to deter predators. Cow killer ants are the David in this David and Goliath story. Female cow killer ants are typically about three quarter inches long, roughly the size of a small button on your shirt. Their striking red and black coloration screams, stay away, like a neon sign. With their robust exoskeleton and powerful mandibles, they might as well be wearing medieval armor. But it's their venomous sting, like a tiny knight wielding a powerful sword in battle, that truly sets them apart. Cows, in contrast, are the Goliaths here. They can weigh anywhere from 1,000 to 1,800 pounds, comparable to a small car. Standing about 4 to 6 feet tall at the shoulder, these gentle giants are the tanks of the animal kingdom. They're herbivores with a complex digestive system that resembles a four-chambered recycling plant, breaking down tough plant material through their four stomach chambers, the rumen, reticulum, omasum, and abomasum. Cow killer ants are the adventurers of the insect world, found primarily in the southeastern United States. They prefer sandy habitats such as fields, pastures, and forest edges where they can burrow and hunt for food. These ants are solitary and spend most of their time searching for nectar and other small insects, like treasure hunters on a never-ending quest. Their diet includes nectar, other insects, and sometimes the larvae of ground-nesting bees and wasps. Think of them as the ultimate foodies, always on the hunt for the next exotic meal. Their strong mandibles allow them to capture and consume a variety of small prey, making them the sushi chefs of the insect world. Cows, on the other hand, are the homebodies of the animal world. They thrive in pastures, grasslands, and agricultural settings where they can graze freely. Cows are highly social animals and often form strong bonds within their herd, like a big happy family living on a farm. Research shows that cows have best friends and get stressed when they are separated from them. Cows also have excellent memories and can remember things for a long time, including the locations of their favorite grazing spots. Cow killer ants are the ninjas of the insect realm, known for their aggressive nature when threatened. They are solitary, stealthy insects, meaning they do not live in colonies like true ants. When disturbed, they can deliver a sting so painful it feels like you've been zapped by a mini taser. Cows, however, are like the peace-loving monks of the animal kingdom. They spend their days in a zen-like state of tranquility, practicing the art of grazing meditation, ruminating on the mysteries of the universe, and engaging in social bonding rituals with their herd mates. When threatened, though, cows can break out in kung fu, I mean cow fu, and defend themselves with powerful kicks and charges. But they prefer to avoid confrontation, much like a monk searching for inner peace who would rather meditate than brawl. Their primary defense is usually flight rather than fight, opting for a peaceful retreat over a skirmish. Who would win in a fight? In a hypothetical encounter between the cow killer ant and a cow, while the sting of a cow killer ant might cause temporary pain and irritation, the cow would have the clear advantage due to its sheer size and strength. A cow killer ant would just be too small to cause significant harm to a cow. Imagine King Kong being pestered by a tiny yapping chihuahua. The chihuahua might be loud and annoying, but it's not going to bring down the giant.